Tony Johnson, the forward spots. Boro Susevich will play at midfield. And the defenders are Greg Willen and Sean Pendleton. Visiting team Memphis will control the kickoff to start the game. Johnson and Vasquez in the midfield circle. Vasquez to the right side over to Susevich. And back to Pendleton. He sends it high up in the air into the corner. In by Vasquez. Tony Johnson working on Pisano. Turns around Antonio. Can't get the shot away. Tried to heal it back, and the shot by Pendleton was blocked by Denzel Antonio. Comes out to Steve Moyers. Drops it back to Don Tobin. Got inside Vasquez and tapped it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Outlet short on the right side to Oscar Pisano. Midfield circle to Moyers. Now back at the Canton red line on the left side to Denzel Antonio. And feeds to the right to Pisano and back in the goal area to Swanner. We played just a little over 35 seconds of the game. Oscar Pisano coming out of the Canton defensive zone. Right side midfield to Tobin. Back to Pisano. And ahead at the Memphis red line to Steve Maurer. And back again at the Canton red line to Pisano. Airborne for Swanner. Taps it out. And oh boy. Tony Johnson almost picked that away. But Denzel Antonio comes around with it. Ahead at the Memphis red line to Tobin. Back to Antonio. Right side to an unmarked Pisano. Centering ball knocked away by Susevich. Shot by Antonio just wide. And Denzel backs it up to Pisano. The pass behind Oscar, and he has to chase it back to the Canton red line. Back in the Canton defensive zone, it's Oscar Pisano. 12-13-42 now to play in the first quarter. No score here at the Civic Center. Antonio working against Tony Johnson. Back in the goal box to Swanner. And Jamie will come out with it on the floor. Swanner out through the arc to the red line. Johnson backs away on D. Swanner sends it into the left side in the Memphis end. Nobody home there. And it's Pendleton ahead to uh, Willen. Greg Willen across the Canton red line. Wines fires no. Rebound comes out behind Tony Johnson. Don Tobin controls at the red line. Long lead for Moyers up the right side of the field. Picked up by Pendleton. And taken down. They've got lost the ball. They clear. Susevich can't get it. It comes outside. Moyers to Tobin. Shot inside. Blocked by Boro Susevich. And the outlet comes to Tony Johnson right side at midfield. Johnson. Picked up by Denzel Antonio. Gets around him around the right side. Tima in on D. Slaps it off the boards. And clear, clears it in the goal box. Swanner outlet on the right side to Kia. Your forward line is Kia and Rudy Pikasinski. Art Kramer at midfield. 
Tima and Kondrich on defense. Tomo lead, Rudy got inside his man, looking to center, it's not clear out front. And out to midfield, and coming up with it there is Austin Hudson, a former Louisville Thunder player. Hudson, red line of Canton, tries to get it inside, and it's knocked away from Borja by Kondrich ahead to Rudy. Rudy trying to get around a man, and it was knocked away by Juan Yepes. Kondrich controls at the Canton red line, now left side to Timmy Tima. Tima trying to move away from uh, Ramiro Borja, and it's deflected over the glass and out of play. 12.09 in the first period, and no score here at the Civic Center. We'll be on the air, 6.25 airtime on Sunday from Chicago. On the AM station, Swanner in the goal box, long lead once Kia. Kia got inside his man up the right side, but had to wait on the pass. And that allowed Tony Wicker time to get back on D. Now it's Tima in the midfield circle. Right side to Kondrich, Rudy in the corner. Yep, has Rudy got inside him, centers, Kramer shoots. Good save by Sanchez. And the rebound controlled by Memphis. Coming up the floor, knocked away by Tima. Yepes couldn't control, and Tima has Rudy clearing to his left. And centering ball, knocked free. Sanchez doesn't know where the ball is. Tima tries to clear. It goes in front of Kramer. And Hudson controls at the red line for Memphis. 11 and a half minutes to play in the first period. And Memphis weathering a storm of Canton opportunities there. Tony Pesnecker knocks it into Yepes. Yepes with a move around Tima. On the run, sliding play by Kia to knock it back in the Memphis defensive zone. And Sanchez leaves it in the box for Pesnecker. Outlet to Yepes, right side at midfield. And Juan Yepes in across the Canton red line. Shot wide, rebound, follow Hudson, and the save by Swanner. And the outlet ahead to Oscar Pisano. On the run, up the right side of the floor. Pisano move around one, stops to the left side. It goes over to Moyers. Moyers around one, around two. Maurer with a shot wide. Maurer tries to follow and score Steve Moyers. <laughs> Moyers will get the goal. Maurer will get the assist. The Invaders lead 1-0. For Steve Moyers, his second goal of the year. For Steve Maurer, his fifth assist. Time of the goal, 4-10. And the Invaders lead 1-0. So Moyers playing on the line with Maurer and Tobin for I think the first time this year. Collects a goal on his second shift. Boro Susevich dumps it in the Canton end. The pass hits Tobin in the chest. And Antonio trying to get around a couple of players. Pendleton knocks it back in. Susevich wanted Tony Johnson out front, but the ball was too far, and Swanner controls in the goal box for the Invaders. Tobin dishes off right side at the Canton red line to Oscar Pisano. And Pisano back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Swanner, the 1984 Olympian, comes out with it. Jamie out across the red line. Launches it long for Steve Maurer in the uh, Memphis defensive zone on the left side. Maurer out of a double team on the left point to Antonio. Across the floor to Don Tobin. Toby backs it up to midfield. Pass around Susevich. Knocked away by Willen. Maurer hounding him on defense and they clear it into the box for Sanchez. Sanchez wanted to throw long left and now does throw long left but it's knocked away into the air by Antonio. Off the shoulder of Vasquez Johnson with a shot right into the stomach of Jamie Swanner and you've got an injured player on the field it's Denzel Antonio of Canton and Steve Morris the Invaders assistant trainer coming out to take a look at Denzel he collided with somebody at the midfield line and he is already filling in for the injured Walt Schlotthauer Trevor Dawkins did not dress tonight Denzel not able to go, we would see Mike Paxos in on defense. Denzel is off. And Tom Condridge and Pisano will come in and play D with the front line of Tobin, Maurer, and Moyers. Drop ball at midfield and controlled by Memphis. This is Willen cutting inside the red line on the left side of the floor. Shot rejected by Pisano. Pendleton and Moyers in a race forward at midfield, and Pendleton will knock that away back into the goal box for Sanchez. Outlet right side to Susevich. Susevich working against Don Tobin. Ahead midfield, Vasquez clears ahead for Tony Johnson. Johnson double-teamed, drags down uh, 
Condridge, but Tomo will get whistled for the obstruction foul. That's the first foul of the period on either team. Susevich to put it in play for the Storm. And he sends it into the corner for Vasquez. Knocked away by Pisano. And they'll chase it down at midfield. On the right side, it's Boro Susevich. Lead ball for Johnson in the corner, but Condridge had position. Johnson got it away from him from behind. Centering ball, and the shot by Vasquez was blocked by Steve Maurer. Long lead for Moyers up the right side. Centering pass, and Sanchez out of the net. Oh, and Moyers went down hard. Sanchez going after the loose ball. Moyers tried to make a nice feed to himself and almost pulled it off. Susevich sent it ahead for Willen, but it was too far, and Tobin controls in the Canton zone. 8.48 left to play in the first period, and the Invaders lead 1-0. Tobin's pass at midfield, knocked away by Vasquez. Toby got it back, feeds Key a right side. And now at the red line to Pisano, ahead to Art Kramer, and back to Pisano for Kia. Kia, left side at midfield, trying to get away from Austin Hudson. Back it up at the Canton red line to Condridge. Tomo dumps it back to the keeper, Swanner, outlet short, right side to Art Kramer. Kramer, couple of steps forward, wants Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside a man but it's cleared out to midfield. Austin Hudson with it for Memphis. Lead up the left side of the floor. Vasquez had it taken away by Tim Tima. Tima for Rudy, taps it right back to Timmy Tima. And Timmy, long lead for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Yepes. Yepes clears the ball into the goal box. Sanchez grabs it, holds on. Long lead for Hudson. Hudson up the left side of the floor. Kondrich with him into the corner in the Canton zone. And Hudson will come back out front with it. Yepes at the red line. Centering ball deflected by Kramer and cleared out by Condridge. Kia has it. Midfield trying to work around Yepes to the left side. Dumps it back to Tima. And Tima on the right side in the Canton defensive zone. It goes to Tomo Condridge. 7.39 to play in the first period. Condridge ahead for Rudy Pikasinski at the red line. Pikasinski ridden off the ball, and there's the foul on Ramiro Borja. And the team fouls are even at one apiece. Here with WHBC-FM, Canton, Ohio. Kramer sends it forward, but they put it in play from the wrong spot on the field. We'll do it again. 7.33 to play in the first quarter. The Invaders lead 1-0 on a Steve Moyers goal and the Steve Maurer assist at 4.10 of the period. Right side to Kondrich, midfield team, and on the left side to Art Kramer. Kramer ridden into the corner, trying to get around Borja. Does, looks for centering, and Borja took the ball away. And coming the other way, now Kia with a little bit of a deflection, and it's too far for Austin Hudson. And Tima will chase it down into the Canton end. Swanner waits for it there. Jamie pushes it ahead for Tim Tima up the left side of the floor. Tima spins, lets the defensive man clear. That's Austin Hudson. And with the ball at the right side of the Canton red line is Kondrich. Borja on defense on him. And they've got Yepes matched up with Kramer at midfield. Swanner, long lead. You've got Rudy working on Tony Wicker. He shot, turns, blocked by Wicker. The rebound comes out. Tima drops it over to Kramer. Kramer just outside the box in the corner. Inside shot. Knocked off the post by Sanchez. And Pikasinski able to clear it out to midfield. Tima will flag it down at the Canton red line. 6.39 to play in the period. Tima sends it forward for Rudy Pikasinski. And he's pushed from behind by Tony Wicker. And that's the second foul on the Memphis Storm. Kramer will put the ball in play. Touchline left side, uh, about six, seven feet inside the red line in the Memphis end. 6.34 in the period. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Art Kramer with Kia and Rudy Pikasinski in the front line. Kondrich and Tima on defense for Canton. Down in the corner it goes to Rudy. Pikasinski clears it out to Kramer. Back to Rudy in the corner. And he tried to get it back to Artie. Now Rudy through the box. He shoots. Oh, kick saving a beauty by Sanchez. Just deflected that a little wide. Long lead. They want Hudson up the left side of the floor. Hudson shot no. Rebound comes out behind everybody. And Kramer controls it there for Canton. Artie trying to spin inside Wicker and gets out of the double team. In the box to Swanner, outlet red line on the right side to Kia. Kia through the midfield circle. His pass for Moyers is intercepted, but Kia back on D, stolen away from Wicker, and had it knocked right back by Boro Susevich. Now it is Ramiro Borja. Kia, Moyers over to double team. Wicker has it back in the corner and clears it out front to Borja. Kia and Moyers to double team, and they dish it back to Yepes. Now midfield on the left side, and that is uh, Pesnecker, Tony Pesnecker, now Willen. Back in the uh, Memphis end. 
And in the goal box, it goes for Sanchez. He's got to chase it outside the box. Clears it out to Millen. Lost. Tobin. Oh, he had the open net and put it in the, in the cheap seats. Sanchez has not quite got back into position yet. And Tobin took a heck of a fire at it, but didn't quite get it. Got under it and sent it out of play. And a timeout has been called. The invaders have been whistled for only one foul in this period, and Memphis has committed only two. It'll be a goal kick for Memphis as the invaders put it out of play before the timeout was called. <laughs> Trevor Dawkins letting his troops know what's going on. You've got Moyers, Tobin, and Maurer up front. And it's Pisano and Antonio on defense for Canton. The line for Memphis. Johnson, Susovic, and Vasquez. And the defenders are Millen and Pendleton. <laughs> Sanchez, long lead. It hits Moyers and goes up into the crowd and will do it again. 5.34 to play in the first period. Contest quarter tonight is the third period. Sunday night from Chicago, we'll have two contest periods. Millen puts it in play, wants Johnson in the right corner. Canton defensive zone, back to the net on Antonio. Tried to center, and Pisano knocked it away from Vasquez into the waiting arms of Swanner. Swanner clears for Don Tobin. One touch left side for Denzel Antonio. He fights with Boro Susevich. Tobin to double team. Antonio clears, but the whistle blows. And there was a... Foul called on the invaders, second one on each team now. Sean Pendleton, former Columbus Capital, will put it in play for the Memphis Storm. Pendleton, long lead for uh, Vasquez, left side, and they back it up to Millen. Millen trying to get around Steve Maurer. He's got a handful there and just does get it ahead. Now Maurer does get the steal, knocked it back in the... Memphis in, but Pendleton was waiting for it there. Picked up by Moyers, and he dumps it forward for Susevich. Susevich working against Pisano down into the corner. Johnson clears through the box. Susevich double teamed in the corner by Pisano and Maurer. Center knocked away, cleared into the corner. It hit Antonio, and Denzel tried to send it forward and ends up at the foot of Don Tobin after being deflected by Tony Johnson. Johnson and Susevich fight for it. Tobin goes down, the trip call goes on Tony Johnson. And that's the third team foul on Memphis. It comes with 4.34 left in the period. Tobin will put the ball in play for the Invaders. He sends it ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer working on Pendleton, right side, and ahead for Moyers, posted up out front. Moyers will back it up to Pisano in the air, but it's over the glass and out of play. He wanted Tobin in the left side. Memphis will put it back in with 4.27 left in the period. Both teams will take the timeout to change lines. Pesnecker, Borja, Wicker, Hudson. And Yepes for uh, Memphis. Rudy Pikasinski, Kramer, Kia, Kondrich, and Tima for Canton. Sanchez lead, too far for Yepes, headed away by Kia. Taken by Rudy, knocked back Kramer to Kia to an open pick of Zinsky, and the ball knocked away from behind by Tony Pesnecker and controlled by uh, Sanchez. Loose ball at midfield. Hudson and Kia fight for it there. Now Rudy over to double team, and Hudson backs it away on the left side to Tony Pesnecker. And they clear it down in the Canton end. Tima knocked it away from Austin Hudson in there, and Timmy will come out up the left side of the floor with it. Tima across the red line. Midfield ahead for Kramer, and it was too far, and Sanchez pounced on it in front of the net. Yepes, right side at midfield, coming forward for Memphis, sends it ahead. Hudson had it knocked away from behind by Rudy Pikasinski and controlled on the fly by Swanner. Long lead for Kia. Kia up the left side, working on Tony Wicker. Kia gets out of a double team over to Rudy. Kramer's wide open up the right side of the floor. Now Pesnecker picks him up. Kramer, move around one, tried to feed Tima, couldn't get it to him. Now in the second pass, he does get it to Tim Tima. Timmy backs up to the left point area, 317 to go in the first quarter. And back at the Canton red line to Jamie Swanner. Swanner outside the red line, midfield circle to Kramer. Kramer trying to get away from Borja. They drop it back to Swanner. 302 in the period. 
Swanner dumps it down into the left corner. And Yepes lost it for a second, got it back. They clear it in. Oh, boy. Sanchez just got that before Kia arrived on the scene. Hudson couldn't get the pass ahead. Kramer coming in on D, and Kondrich has it back at the Canton red line. Here comes Timmy Tima up the floor. Tima sends it ahead. It's too far for Kondrich. And you've got a whistle and a trip call against Rudy. Rudy jumped over one of the Memphis players, and they got their legs tangled a little. Team fouls even at three apiece. 2.35 to play in the first quarter. Invaders lead 1-0. Sanchez dumps it ahead out in front of the box. Pesnecker, long lead. They've got Borja working on Tima. Timmy took the ball away. Tima up the right side of the floor, pushes ahead to Rudy. Rudy in a race with Pesnecker. Turns, spins back to the net, tried to center, knocked away. And Kondrich will get it back at midfield for the Invaders. 2.14 left in the quarter. Tim Tima, edge of the circle, trying to get away from Borja. Borja with a push, and that's the fourth foul on Memphis. It comes with 2.09 to play. So now Memphis in a little bit of foul trouble. They only have one more to give and a little more than two minutes to play. Denzel Antonio off the Canton bench, drops it back to Timmy Tima. Tima left side at midfield for Don Tobin. Toby, Memphis red line for Maurer. Maurer touches it back to Pisano in the left corner for Don Tobin. Back out front to Oscar. Oscar working on Vasquez through the midfield circle. And Johnson over to double team, took the ball away. Johnson and Vasquez on the attack, Antonio and Tobin on defense. Johnson in the corner, centers for Yepes. He cleared it through. And a weak, sh they didn't get the shot away. There's a shot blocked out front. Off the foot of Yepes, blocked by Antonio. And Denzel clears up the left side of the floor for Canton. Antonio trying to get around his man there and can't do it. Willen sends it back to midfield. And this is Vasquez. Vasquez dumps it forward for Willen. Willen trying to get inside Pisano. Shot. Oh, Swanner comes up with it against the right post. Ahead to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around a man. Ridden off the ball. That obstruction is called. That's the fifth foul on Memphis with a minute eight left in the period. And two minutes coming up. I think you're going to get dissent against Memphis. So the invaders will go on the power play. Penalty, I believe, has been called on Willen. Time of the penalty will be 13.52. Invaders on the year 20 of 45 on the power play, 44%. Memphis penalty killers have given up 12 goals in 38 tries, 68% penalty killing. Unsportsmanlike conduct is the call on Willen. And if they're not careful and they commit the sixth foul, they could go two men down. A minute eight left in the period. Let's see if they try to draw this here. Kia, Rudy, Tobin, Pisano, and Maurer on the power play. Kia to Pisano, and Susevich had deep defensive position. Oscar let it go back to Tobin. 53 in the period. Pisano with a shot, rebound, comes out behind Rudy, but Tobin controls. Now Maurer pushes it over to Pisano. Pisano knocks it around one man, but Susevich clears, knocked it right back to Oscar. Oscar feeds to Maurer. He fires and put it in the crowd. 37 seconds left in the period, and the penalty won't expire until the second quarter. They push it over on the right side. And Pesnecker tries to clear, but Rudy knocked it away from him. And Kia tries to control for Canton. Dumps it back, but passes behind Tobin. Maurer gets there. There's a collision between Maurer and Susevich. And if that goes against Susevich, it's the sixth foul. But no, it goes the other way on Maurer. So that's the fourth foul on Canton with 25 seconds remaining in the first period. And a minute 17 left in the penalty. Pesnecker pushes it ahead for Wicker, and he tried to get it inside to Susevich. Susevich clears out. Pesnecker, 17 in the period. Pesnecker trying to move inside Key, and now Rudy over to double team. They dump it back to Pendleton. Pendleton clears over to Wicker, nine seconds in the quarter. And it's still in the uh, Canton end. Susevich around one, knocked away by Tobin, but that's the end of the first quarter. 
For the score, the Canton Invaders won, the Memphis Storm nothing. We come back. Identical play. Once with Schlotthauer crashing in on the left side and they feed it from the corner and he scores. And they ran the same play after Schlotthauer got hurt and Maurer put the game winning goal in in overtime. Invaders lead 1-0 in 52 seconds of man advantage left. The power play unit for Canton will consist of Maurer, Kia, Pikasinski, Tobin, and Pisano. And the penalty killers for Memphis You've got Susevich, Pendleton, Pesnecker, and Wicker. And the Invaders on the attack. 42 seconds in the penalty. Pisano at the Canton red line. Feeds left side to Tobin. Tobin down in the corner for Maurer. Maurer wants to center, couldn't get his foot on the ball. And it's loose and controlled by Sanchez. Long lead, 27 seconds in the penalty. Too far for the intended man, and Pisano fights for it in the corner with Susevich. And now it is Don Tobin through the midfield circle. 14 seconds in the penalty. Right side to Pisano, down in the corner. Key is centering pass, and loose out front and knocked away. Maurer tried to get a hit on it, and I believe Sanchez deflected it away. Two seconds, one. The penalty is over, and Willen comes back out. There's a shot wide off the foot of Tobin. Susevich controls for Memphis and they dump it out to midfield and clearing up is Wicker. Wicker pushes it forward for Willen who just came out of the penalty box. Tobin and Maurer back on defense for Canton and Wicker takes it down in the right corner would like to center and can't do it now shot blocked by Pisano comes back out to the red line and it is uh, Pesnecker sending it into the corner Pisano got inside of Susevich and kind of back heeled it into the box for Swanner Outlet left side midfield for Kia. Kia picked up by Austin Hudson. They drop it back to Toby. Now Pisano, now Tobin, and back in the box to Swanner. Swanner, short outlet on the right side to Oscar Pisano, who will be our guest at halftime this evening. Forward for Steve Moyers. Knocked away by Pesnecker. Taken back by Tobin. Knocked away again by Pesnecker. Taken away by Pisano. And now back at the red line for Memphis. It's Wicker. Forward for... Uh, Pesnecker and it was knocked away in a holding foul called on Canton. That's the first one of the period whistled against Pisano. 13.05 to play in the first half. Invaders lead one to nothing. Memphis to put the ball in play in the Canton defensive zone. And they dump it on the right side, centering ball too far for Hudson. Maurer clears it long and that's gonna stay in play just inside the glass. Takes a bounce inside the Memphis end. Pesnecker dumps it in for uh, Sanchez, they clear to midfield. This is uh, Ramiro Borja. Borja working on Antonio, now backs it up up the right side. Pesnecker sends it ahead, midfield circle. This is Yepes on the right side. Borja shot wide, rebound knocked away by Pisano. The follow was blocked by Maurer, and Moyers ends up with a rebound. Ahead for Don Tobin, and back in the arc it comes to Pisano. Twelve and a half minutes to play in the first period. Pisano brings it out through the midfield circle. Moyers with a shot just wide to the left. Controlled by Sanchez. Long lead for Austin Hudson. Pisano back on defense for Canton. Hudson inside the red line. And they've got Borja posted up, but Kia knocked it away to Pisano. Oscar tried to clear, had it partially deflected. On the right side, Hudson with a shot. No, and the rebound. Controlled by Pisano, and they dump it in for Swanner. Lead up the left side at the red line for Canton is Denzel Antonio. Now Kia at the Memphis red line. 11.55, Kia got around a man ahead to an open, Moyers, Kia give and go, scores! Pretty give and go feed. Kia had Moyers clearing through the right side of the box, and when uh, they fed it over, Sanchez had no choice but to confront the man with a shot. That left Kia unmarked in the left side of the box. Moyers hit him with a perfect pass, and the invaders lead it two to nothing. The time of the goal is 3.08 for Kia. It's his 13th goal of the year for Moyers, his third assist and his second point tonight. And the Invaders lead 2 to nothing. 
Pretty give and go feed. That's the way you draw it up on the chalkboard. Tony Johnson drops it back for Vasquez. He pushes it ahead, but it's left of Johnson. And it's controlled back in the Canton zone by Timmy Tima. In the box for Swanner. 2-0 invaders with the lead. 11.40 to play in the first half. Swanner's pass headed away by Vasquez. They clear it to midfield. And coming up the floor with it is Willen. Willen dumps it on the right side. And Johnson tried to clear back. Willen back at the red line working against Rudy Pikasinski. Now Vasquez in the left point. Centering ball and shot up and out of play. Pass was a little bit too high. And uh, Susevich could not get all of it. And as a consequence, sent it out of play. That could have been a much more dangerous pass if it was along the ground where Susevich can get a good foot on it because he had the near side post open to him if, unless Jamie got over there in a hurry. 11-12 to play in the first half. And the Invaders with a two-goal lead now. Tima in the Canton end, backing away from Vasquez. Over to Swanner. Swanner pushes it ahead, but it's knocked away at midfield. Taken there by Willen. Now Vasquez. And Pendleton sends it forward. Susevich couldn't control there. Back in the midfield area is Vasquez. And his pass is deflected by Pikasinski. Taken by Swanner ahead to Kia. Invaders to attack three on three. Kia pushes ahead for Kramer. Kramer, wall pass. No, Rudy shot. Oh, score! Sanchez got a hand on it and didn't know where the ball was. And I think he might have actually knocked it in himself. Give the goal to Rudy. That's Pekosinski's 20th goal of the year. And the assist to Kramer. And for Artie, that's his sixth assist on the year. And if you're a Louisville Thunder fan, you'll like this. Or if you're a Canton fan, you'll definitely like it. Halftime, Milwaukee three, Louisville two. Didn't get enough, didn't know where the ball was. And by the time he figured out where it was, it had crossed the goal line. Sanchez did well just to get to that where it was. Rudy had a great spot for it. And Kramer with a nifty assist and the Invaders lead three to nothing. They'll be in Chicago Sunday, 625 airtime on Sister Station, 1480 WHBC. And Memphis on the attack. Yepes to Pesnecker. Now it's Borja working in the right corner against Kondrich. Ramiro Borja back out to Juan Yepes on the point on the right side. They dump it into Hudson and taken away by Kondrich. Tima with it in the corner. And they dump it in the box for Swanner. Jamie long lead for Kramer. And if he'd gotten behind a man, it could have been trouble. But it was taken away by Pesnecker. Pesnecker working on Kramer. And they back it up in their own defensive zone. This is Tony Wicker, and now Yepes for Memphis. Yepes, long lead into the corner for Hudson. Tima got a foot on it and knocked it away, but it went out of play. And it'll be a corner kick for Memphis from the left side with 10 minutes exactly left in the first half. Invader goals by Steve Moyers, Kia, and Rudy Pikasinski. Pesnecker outside, shot by Yepes, blocked by Rudy. Wicker clears back to Yepes, and Rudy all over him. Back to Sanchez. That's going to be a three-line violation. And we'll take it back to the Memphis red line. Sanchez put it way long. And Kramer will put it in play. Dumps it to Rudy. Rudy trying to get it back to Kia. Does in the corner. Rudy, Kia. Oh, ball was deflected. And Hudson has it for Memphis. And the pass, they tried to clear it ahead. It hit Hudson in the heel. And he dumps it over to Pesnecker. Pesnecker in the circle. Midfield for Memphis. Picked up by Kramer. Close to the Canton red line. Now Wicker in the left side. They want Hudson in the corner. It's too far for him. Condridge tries to clear. Hudson with a dangerous play. And the team fouls are even at one apiece. 9.28 to play in the first half. Invaders three and Memphis nothing. Condridge pushes it across the floor in the Canton defensive zone on the right side to Tim Tima. Tima leaves it in the arc for Tobin who touches it right back to Swanner. Outlet on the right side now Don Tobin. And now Swanner. Jamie comes out of the box with it. Swanner out across the red line. Leaves it for Tobin in the midfield circle. Toby pushes it forward for Oscar. Moyers is there. They dump it in the box. 
and Yep has stepped in front of that and clears it into the keeper Sanchez. Long lead, too far, three line violation. He wanted Hudson up the right side and got too much on the pass. We go back to the Memphis red line again. The Invaders will put it in play. 9.01 to play in the second quarter. Canton three, the Storm nothing. Tobin down in the corner for Moyers. Moyers turns shot and Sanchez covers it up against the right post. Outlet short on the right side comes to Pesnecker. Uh, left side rather, Tony Pesnecker working against Maurer. And they back it up to Wicker and now it's Yepes on the right side. Moyers on him, Pesnecker red line picked up by Don Tobin. Midfield to Austin Hudson. Hudson sends it forward for Tony Johnson. Johnson in the right corner faces the net and Antonio stepped in front of Hudson with a pass and knocked it away. Denzel out of the corner dumps it back in the box for Swanner. Jamie forward for Steve Maurer. Maurer up the left side of the floor. Moyers clears with him to the right. Maurer and Yepes in the corner. Maurer spit and move to get outside. Wanted Moyers just missed him with a centering pass. And Vasquez controls the loose ball for Memphis. Vasquez left side at midfield. Pushes it forward for Johnson. Johnson working on Denzel Antonio. Denzel forces him up against the boards. Denzel knocks it away from behind, taken by Steve Maurer. Maurer, and he couldn't get it. Knocked away by Willen. Taken by Johnson. Centering ball. Nobody home out front. Oh, Willen plowed over Pisano from behind. No call. Swanner was throwing the outlet ball at the time. Oscar screened him away to allow Jamie to control that. Uh-oh, Denzel stopped to tie his shoelace. He's taken down by Tony Johnson. And the trip call will go against Memphis. Second foul. And Denzel now lacing the shoe up, but he's got look of a little bit of pain on his face as well. He's up. And is he going to stay in? I don't think so. No, Denzel hobbles off toward the invader bench. And it'll be Tom Condridge stepping in. Denzel over. He'll get attention behind the bench. And Condridge is on the floor. Swanner has the ball in the goal box. Left side outlet to Pisano. Now Condridge at midfield. Tomo passes through the midfield circle on the right side to Tobin. Off the right side boards for Condridge. Condridge, wall pass for Moyers out front. Knocked away. And they clear it up. Pisano up over the back of Tony Johnson. And Oscar's going to get two minutes. As he went up over the back of Johnson and took him down, Oscar doesn't like it. But Memphis will go on the power play for the first time. Time of the penalty on the Invaders will be 7.34. On the year, Memphis 9 of 37 on power plays, 24%. Invader penalty killers have given up just nine goals in 37 attempts for a 76% penalty killing percentage. Pisano sits down for two. <laughs> Have to see what the call was on Pisano. What was the penalty on Pisano? Jumping at. Okay, that's what they called it. Jumping at was the signal they gave. It's the first time I've seen that called in three years. Shot into the corner. Willen tries to center and very nearly put it up into the catwalk that goes between the two press boxes. And it'll be a goal kick for Canton. 7-13 in the period. And a minute 47 left in the penalty. Invaders lead three to nothing. This is the first power play opportunity for Memphis. The Invaders had one earlier in the game and Memphis was able to kill it off. Swanner with the ball in the box. He has it in his hand. Long lead for Frick and it clears down in the Memphis end. Just lands behind the red line and Memphis coming up the floor with it. Vasquez on the right side. 6.55 to go in the half. In the corner for Tony Johnson outside Pesnecker. And that one came even closer to going into the catwalk. They're, not, they're taking shots and they're not even coming close. That one was above everybody in the deck back there. We have a minute 32 left in the penalty and another goal kick for Canton. 
Swanner taps it over to Tima. Timmy dumps it right back in the box to Swanner. And he picks it up there. Jamie, airborne for Frick. It goes past both he and Willen. And down into the Tampa defensive zone, Vasquez. Kramer came in for a second, but Vasquez comes out with it. Pushes it up the right side of the floor. This is Austin Hudson. Now Vasquez down in the corner. Hudson couldn't control there. And Kondrich knocked it away ahead to Frick. Frick trying to get around a man. He's got Kramer. They got a two-on-one break. Frick across the red line. Feeds Artie and knocked away. Frick, he got it back. Puts it up in the air. And it's knocked out finally by Willen. They chewed a lot of clock off of that, though, on the penalty. And team has got the ball back for Canton. Back in the box for Swanner. And Swanner will push it long, taken away by Willen at midfield. Willen, left side at the red line. A couple of steps in on Kramer. Across the floor for Hudson. Or check that, that's uh, Pesnecker. Bad pass by Kondrich. Pesnecker flags it down back at midfield. 5.41 in the period, and we're down to 14 seconds now in the penalty. There's a shot deflected off the back of a Memphis player. Willen got it back for the storm. Four seconds in the penalty. In the corner, Johnson, Vasquez, back to Johnson, back to Vasquez. The penalty's over, and Johnson ran over the back of Tim Tima. And that's the third foul on Memphis. And we'll put it back in play. In the Canton defensive zone, the invaders will control there. So the invaders kill off the penalty on Oscar Pisano. And Pisano would, is saying that uh, Johnson did the same thing to Tima that he just got two minutes for. But they will not get the call. Hudson with the steal at midfield for Memphis. 5-10 to go in the first half. Hudson midfield circle. Left side to Ramiro Borja. Borja dumps it in and knocked away. Darren Jones in for the first time. Had the ball deflected by Pisano. Jones got it back at midfield. And you've got a foul called a handball on Jones, and that's the fourth one on Memphis with 4.58 to play. So they've only got one more to give. Frick in a race with Wicker into the right side. Frick taken down, and that's the fifth foul as the trip call goes against Jeffes. Tima puts it in play in a hurry, tried to clear it for Frick, and I don't think Frick realized what was happening there. And Memphis clears the other way. So the next team foul by Memphis will put Canton in the power play again. 440 to play in the half. Pisano shields Jones away from the ball. Swanner controls and calls timeout. With 434 to play in the first half and the score, the Canton Invaders three in the Memphis Storm, nothing. It's Maurer, Moyers, and Tobin. And we're still waiting for Memphis to clear away. It'll be Wicker, Pendleton, Borja, Yepes. And now Wicker comes back to the bench. It'll be Pendleton and Willen along with Vasquez, Johnson, and Susevich. They started to, they, eight guys started to go out on the floor for Memphis and then a couple of them went back. We figured out which line. Swanner will put the ball in play for Canton. Four thirty-four to play in the first half. Swanner taps it out to Tima back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. And the clock's moving again. Now we may be right. Memphis may have gotten a warning about that one foul that was similar to the one Pisano committed. Swanner pushes it over to Kondrich. Kondrich trying to get around Susevich. They fight for it there. Tomo tries to tap it ahead to Rudy. Rudy double team got it back to Tomo. Sliding play by Vasquez to take it away. His pass for Johnson picked off by Tima. Tima is hammered by Susevich. No call. Now they got him for two minutes. The guy looking right at it that was four feet away didn't call it. The guy on the other side does. Susevich will get a two-minute penalty. And again, Memphis in the same situation they were in last quarter. They get the two-minute penalty, and they have only one foul. They could, they could get another two minutes if they commit another foul. Time of this penalty will be 
And the Invaders will go on the man advantage for the second time tonight. Same power play unit for Canton. Charging is the call on Susevich. Now he was normally on the penalty killing unit. Tony Johnson takes his place. In the front there in a diamond, Pendleton comes out on Maurer. Tobin midfield circle, right side to Pisano. Back to Tobin, back to Pisano, back to Toby, back to Oscar. Now Toby, left side, he winds, he fires, blocked out front. Maurer got the rebound and pushes it back out front to Don Tobin. Tobin, right side, Oscar. Oscar tried to feed Toby. And across the field, the right side for Kia in the corner. Shot deflected by Sanchez and then steered back in by Pesnecker and Sanchez controls. Long lead for Tony Johnson who heads it back for Pesnecker. Pesnecker back in the Memphis end had it taken away by Rudy. Rudy gets away from Pendleton. Ball loose out front. Pisano winds, fires wide. Kia with a rebound. He feeds through. Oh, right between Rudy and Maurer. And we'll do it again. One minute left in the penalty. They tried Kia on the post and he just missed it wide to the side. And Maurer back out front to Don Tobin. Tobin, right side to Pisano. He winds, he fires, and Sanchez has the save up against the post. 44 seconds left in the penalty. Long lead, Tony Johnson, left side at midfield. Kia on him. He gets around him, picked up by Pisano. Ball scooped away by Tobin. Rudy back to Tobin. Here come the Invaders, four on two. Kia up the right side to Maurer, and he just missed him. Maurer was wide open up the left side. 23 seconds left in the penalty. Rudy out front in the corner. Once Maurer, back out front, Kia, the pass is behind him. And Pisano's got to chase it down at midfield. 15 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, right side. Now to Tobin. Tobin winds, fires wide to the right. Rebound comes out high and behind Kia. And Pisano steers it back over to Tobin. And shot on, blocked out front. Willen blocked it, the penalty's over. Here comes Susevich. Pisano fires no. Rebound headed away by Pesnecker. And Maurer has it up against the left sideboards, working on Pendleton. And you've got a push call on Steve Maurer. That's the second one. On Canton. Now again, Memphis has only, has no team fouls to give. The next one they commit, they go a man down again. Canton 0 for 2 in the power play tonight. A minute 49 to play in the first half. Sanchez, long lead, and Frick coming off the bench, headed it away from Borja, and he knocked it up in the crowd, so Memphis will put it in play right side, just outside the Canton red line. Minute 43 to play in the first half. And the Invaders will take advantage of this timeout to put a different line in. It'll be Tobin, Moyers, Maurer, or check that, Tobin, Moyers, and Frick with Pisano and Paxos on defense. Bad pass, knocked away by Tobin. Cleared back in for Memphis. It is Austin Hudson. Hudson around one, shot deflected by Paxos. The follow by Borja won't go. And the rebound loose out front. Hudson trying to work around Tobin. Tried to center for Borja. Pass deflected, Mike Paxos clears it out to Don Tobin. Tobin trying to get around a man, can't do it. Hudson has it back again on the left side. And he lost it for a second to Pisano. Oscar tries to clear and does to Don Tobin. Steve Frick on the run, got behind his man Pesnecker. Had to wait on the pass though. Fricky trying to put a move on out front, feeds over to Moyers. Moyers against Wicker, takes it down into the corner. And Yepes from behind, Moyers gets whistled for the foul. Yepes goes down, it's the third foul on Canton. 57 seconds left. In the period, Memphis will put it in play in their own end. Touchline right side. Sean Pendleton checks in on defense, and Yepes will come out. Fifty-seven ticks in the second quarter clock. Invaders lead three to nothing. Goals by Moyers, Kia, and Rudy Pikasinski for Canton here tonight. One in the first quarter, two here in the second. Sanchez in the goal box for Memphis. Long lead. Pesnecker tries to head it over on the right side. 
And it goes out of play on one bounce. Invaders will put it back in with 49 seconds left in the half. Touch line left at their own red line. Paxos taps it ahead to Art Kramer. Nice move to get around Borja. Kramer picked up by Pesnecker. Race up the right side. Takes him into the corner. Double team. Artie trying to draw the sixth foul, and I think he just did. No, the carpet got kicked up, and they stopped play. 40 seconds left in the period. The whistle was not for a foul. It was because the carpet came up. And we're ready to go again now. They'll drop, they'll have a drop ball in the corner. 40 seconds left in the half. They get it out to Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside. Oh, he wanted to draw the sixth foul, didn't do it. And Memphis coming the other way. Ahead to Hudson. Hudson off the feed from Borja in the Canton end. 27 seconds. And a shot deflected by Pisano. Knocked into the corner, over the glass and out of play. Canton will get it back with 22 seconds left. In a way, if you're going to draw that foul, you're all you almost like to do it now, later in the period, so that when if it carries over into the third quarter, you get more penalty time. Memphis will be very careful to try to not to commit that foul, though. It's going to be tough to draw, I think. Although we've seen it happen before. Swanner with the ball in the goal box. 16 seconds in the period. Jamie puts it back on the floor. He'll come out with it. 12 seconds as he pushes it ahead to Kramer. Kramer going up the left side boards. Moves to the middle. He shoots. Good save by Sanchez out front. And they clear it out to Hudson. Three seconds. Two. One. That's the end of the first half. With a score. The Canton Invaders three. And the Memphis Storm nothing. down to the wire apparently that game is uh, that's in Louisville too so the Milwaukee way of a team that the last couple of years has really had trouble with Louisville giving them a good game down there both team captains over talking to the officials before the start of the half Will and the captain for uh, Memphis and Tima for the Invaders. Again, Memphis playing without man who had been the second leading scorer in the league, Oscar Albuquerque, gone. Signed with the New York Express. And they need all the help they can get. Last time I looked, Chep Messing's team was 0 and 11. Willen, Johnson, Vasquez, Susevich, and Pendleton will start for Memphis. For Canton, it will be Tima and Kondrich on defense. <laughs> and the front line, Kramer, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia. 3-0 lead for Canton. Memphis will control the kickoff to start the third quarter. 
Invaders will attack from our right to our left as we look at it in this period. And we're ready to get it underway. They drop it back to Pendleton at the red line. And his pass blocked by Pikasinski up in the air. He hands it forward off the foot of Condridge, taken by Susevich. They push it up on the right side to Vasquez. Tony Johnson backs the net on team and beats Vasquez. Shot no. Rebound Susevich. Can't get the shot to go. And Swanner comes out and dives on the loose ball out front. Shovels the outlet on the left side to Kramer. Now right side. Canton defensive zone to Tim Tima. Tima back in the goal box for Swanner. And we've played 33 seconds of the second half. Tima back to Swanner. Jamie outside the box. Picked up by Johnson. Lead off the sideboards. Takes a funny hop. Comes back at midfield. Vasquez pass intercepted by Tima. And Vasquez blocked it back. But Tima got position inside. Trying to force it ahead to Kia. Double team. Susevich knocked him away. They tried to clear to Pikasinski. But Willen was in front of that pass. And now Pendleton right side at midfield. Pendleton winds, fires. It's blocked out front. And Susevich trying to clear it away. Kramer knocked it around one. Kramer's taken down. No call. And in the corner, ball deflected. And Swanner controls in the box. Long lead. Pikasinski, he's got one man to beat. Willen back on D. And he steers it back in the goal box for Sanchez. Outlet Vasquez, left side at midfield for Memphis. Picked up by Tima at the Canton red line. Moves laterally across the floor, left to right. Now steps in, faces the net. Shot blocked by Tima. Rebound comes out to Tony Johnson. Clears to Willen at midfield. And now on the right side to Martin Vasquez. Tony Johnson posted up out front. Lost the ball. Kramer with a deflection. Johnson got it back. Johnson dumps it down in the corner. Kia wins the race there and shovels into the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Ahead, midfield, left side, Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Willen. And Willen lost the ball. Kramer got it back, wants a feed, got Kia. Kia to Moyers. Moyers can't get the shot. Now he does. It's blocked by Pendleton. And Moyers shovels the rebound back outside on the right point to Tomo Kondrich. Kondrich, a couple of steps in on Johnson. And back out at midfield to Tobin. Invaders will change lines. Tima with it in the midfield circle. Mike Paxos in on defense for Canton, along with Pisano. And it's Tobin. Moyers and Maurer still up front. <laughs> right side at the Canton red line to Pisano. 12.35 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead 3-0. Second quarter, Miami on top of Penn State, 7-0 in the Fiesta Bowl. And there's a whistle and a foul against the Invaders. First one of the half on either team. 12.28 to play in the third period. Willen will put it in play for Memphis and dump it back in the goal box for... Sanchez, outlet midfield, Tobin with a deflection, Hudson trying to get inside Mike Paxos, can't do it, Paxi dumps it in the goal box for Swanner, Swanner will come outside with it, and sends it ahead to midfield, headed back by Wicker, but it lands right at the feet of Tobin, ahead to Steve Maurer, Maurer through the midfield circle, off the left side boards for Mau Moyers, and back to Tobin, and coming the other way, now is, uh, Borja, Borja over to Hudson out of a double team. Back out on the point and knocked away there. And midfield, they knocked away by Tobin. Cleared back and still they, they bounce it off everybody. Tony Wicker now with it for uh, Memphis. Long lead into the corner. Mike Paxos trying to get inside. Yepes controls out on the right point. His shot blocked by Paxos. And that one knocked up in the stage. Denzel Antonio is not in the box for Canton. He... Went down twice in the first half and may have injured, I believe, in the right leg. They dump it back. Nancy says hello to Chris Sigmoid. Chris Sigmoid, hope you feel better and that you do not have to have surgery. Send that message along. Hope it's a good one for you. Now we hear Denzel could be out for six weeks. There's a note that just handed me from the other side here. Don't know the extent of the, what the injury is, but it doesn't sound good. Wicker sends it long ahead. Hudson inside. Swanner out of the box to knock it away. Ahead to Don Tobin. Back to Hudson. Out front. Feed shot blocked off the foot of Susevich. Paxos blocked it. And they clear it back out to Wicker. Wicker launches it. That one was blocked by Pisano. Up in the air, Maurer heads it back toward the Memphis red line. And Yepes 
Under hot pursuit from Moyers. Clears it ahead. Intercepted by Tobin. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer trying to get around his man. Knocked in the corner. Loose. Maurer feeds. Moyers scores! <laughs> Second time that combination has worked tonight. Maurer had it on the right side. Fed it out front to an unmarked Moyers who knocked it in with his heel. And the Invaders lead 4 to nothing. Moyers' second goal of the night, his third on the season. Maurer's second assist of the night, and he has six on the year now. And the time of that goal will be 4.22 of the period, and the Invaders lead four to nothing. Moyers from Maurer, they combined on the first goal, and they get the fourth one as well, and it's four nothing Invaders. Sean Pendleton, midfield, drops it back to Susevich, ahead to Tony Johnson, and back to Greg Willen. Willen, left side feed, they want Vasquez, and the ball knocked away by Kramer. Coming the other way is Kondrich, here come the Invaders, three on three. Kondrich pushes it ahead for Rudy. Rudy in the corner, off the wall to himself, knocked, it, knocked away. Rudy clears out front, and Kramer has it at the red line for the Invaders. Hardy, couple of steps in, looks right, he fires, and that one's out of play. Goal kick for Memphis with 10.05 to play in the third quarter, and the Invaders lead by four, four to nothing. This is WHBC FM in Canton, Ohio. They just announced the Miami Penn State score. Some of the people liked it, some didn't. Working on Mike Paxos over there. They got an ice pack on his face. I think he caught an elbow in the last shift. Sanchez out of the net. He's got a problem. Knocked it right to Kramer, to Rudy. Rudy to Key. Oh, he just missed Key on the side. Sanchez with a terrible pass, and they almost made him pay for it. Willen coming up the floor with it for Memphis. Willen ridden down. Rudy from behind. And the ball's still loose out front. Now knocked out front to Vasquez. He winds, fires wide to the right. Rebound comes out to Tima. Tima with a nice move around Vasquez. You got Kramer clearing up the right side. Vasquez got the ball back. Vasquez and Tima collide. Shot block sliding play by Timmy to knock it free. Pendleton has it out front. Pendleton working against Kia. Down in the corner. They want Boro Susovic. Rudy on D. Kia to double team. They pin it up in there and Kia sco scoops it away. But he knocked it over and Vasquez has it. And now Pendleton outside for Memphis. Pendleton dumps it down in the corner for Susovic. Susevich working against Kramer and Rudy. And Rudy knocked the ball away from behind. Collides with Vasquez. Susevich got it back. Shot just wide to the right side. And the rebound comes out to Willen. Willen had it picked away by Kondrich. Kondrich tries to clear it ahead. Kia on the dead run with Pendleton. Pendleton will get there first. Pendleton lost the ball and the whistle and a foul goes against Kia on the push. And that's the second one on the Invaders in the period. None on Memphis so far. I think Pendleton may have jammed his right hand up against the boards on the play. They dump it in the box to Sanchez. Sanchez scoops it up. Looked long, and there was nobody there for that, and they leave it for Wicker, and now back to Sanchez. Sanchez ahead, to, just dumps it out. Nobody in particular, and Kondrich flags that down in the invader end. Ahead to Tima. Tima had it knocked away in the corner. Borja knocked loose, and Tim Tima able to clear, but there's a whistle, and a trip call goes against... Uh, I think it goes against Jamie. And let's see, did he pull a card out? I believe he did. <laughs> yeah, Swanner will get a two-minute trip penalty. So Memphis will go on the power play. Time of the penalty in the third period is 6.36. Memphis failed on their first power play opportunity of the night. And the Invader penalty killer's out. Penalty is being served by Oscar, I believe. Yeah, Piz Pizano's in the box. In the corner, they want Vasquez. Kondrich with a steal. And Tomo sends it the length of the floor. Sanchez out of the net. Almost got a bad pass over to Willen. 
And Willen has to back it up in the Memphis defensive zone. Pesnecker on the right side. And they'll bring it out across midfield. Tony Pesnecker picked up by Frick at the Canton red line. Pushes left side to Willen on the point. Couple of steps in. Faked the shot. Thought better of it. Comes back over to Vasquez on the right side. Vasquez with Kondrich on D. Centering pass. Terrible pass. Taken away by Kramer. Kramer trying to get around. One around two. Does. Here they come on the break. Two on one. And Pesnecker knocked it away from Artie. Or they would have had a problem down there at that end. Memphis would have. Minute 11 left in the penalty. Vasquez across the Canton red line. Tries to feed. Loose. Oh, what a play by Kramer to take that ball away from Hudson out front. And Kramer goes down. Hudson draws the tripping penalty. That's the first foul on Memphis in the third quarter. 7.25 left in the period. We have a minute one remaining in the Invader penalty. Art Kramer right in the box. Dumps it in the box for Swanner. He picks it up. Pumps once. Now the long lead for Frick. Frick off his chest. Controls at midfield. Three Memphis players around him. He taps it back for Kondrich. And Tomo sends it down in the goal box. Sanchez has it there for Memphis. And the outlet comes to Pesnecker. Now it's Vasquez on the right side of the floor. 34 seconds left in the penalty. And they send it up in the stage. Hudson got under it. Tima forced him to make a spin to try to take the shot. And he got his toe under the shot and put it over the glass and into the stage. Goal kick for Canton with uh, 6.57 to play in the third quarter. Now it's the other way. They say Tima touched it, so it'll be a corner kick for Memphis. Outside Vasquez with a shot off the glass. Rebound comes outside to Willen. His shot deflected by Hudson wide left. Rebound knocked up in the air by Tima, but it goes out of play. 24 seconds left in the penalty. And 6.48 to play in the period. Willen to put it in play in the Canton defensive zone. Touchline left side for Memphis. Tima, Kondrich, Frick, and Kramer, the penalty killers. Pesnecker, left side, Willen. Tima comes out to confront him. Willen with a move out front to Hudson. He lets it go for Vasquez. Vasquez in the corner, centering pass rejected by Kondrich and knocked out of play with 13 seconds left in the penalty. Invaders one timeout, and they will get it. With 6.37 left, Timmy wanted time. I'll see if they're going to give it to him. The guy in the box was. Now let's see if the official on the field will. Yep. That's it. I think what Timmy is saying was there should have been a TV timeout there, and now they do call that. With 6.37 left in the period, and the Invaders leading 4 to nothing. The one goal in this period, Steve Moyers, his second of the night, and his third on the year. Up right now, 4 to nothing. Looking to go to 12 and 3 on the season. Vasquez will put it in play from the right corner. Centering ball hit Tony Johnson, and Swanner pounced on it up against the post behind him, and that should kill the penalty. Swanner lead for Frick at midfield. Frick puts it up in the air, heads it away from one man. The penalty is over. And here comes Pisano back on the floor. Frick had it knocked away by Kondrich. Now Kondrich sends it ahead for Art Kramer. Kramer at the Memphis red line, around one. Hudson with a deflection. And Willen takes it back from Memphis. 6-10 to play in the quarter. Willen across the Canton red line, pushes it left side. Centering ball picked away by Jamie Swanner. Pesnecker tried to get it ahead to Johnson, and Swanner stepped in front. Pisano midfield circle. Pisano and Frick attack, two on two. Oscar, left side feed to Fricky. Fricky, pass was partially deflected and out of play. Touch last by Memphis, and the Invaders will control at the red line. 2,763 at the Civic Center tonight. Looking for another Invader win, and right now it appears they're going to get it with a 4-0 lead. 5.52 to play in the third quarter. Tobin will put the ball in play. Left side of the floor at the red line. He has Maurer and Moyers up front. Pisano and Paxos on defense. Maurer back to the net in front of the arc trying to get inside him, man. It was deflected away, but Paxos got it back. It's too far for Tobin, but uh, Yepes can't control, and he'll be called for holding. Is he? Oh, no, they called it on Moyers. Third foul on Canton. Moyers moved inside to get position. Yepes grabbed him from behind, and referee saw something that we didn't see. They called the foul on Moyers. Long lead out front. 
And they try to head it in for uh, Susevich. Centering pass. Oh, shot just wide by Jones. And coming the other way is Tobin. Pass blocked by Darren Jones, but Toby got it back. Touches it back to Mike Paxos. Ahead to Tobin. And Tobin trying to get around Susevich. Trying to clear it ahead for Maurer. Maurer at the Memphis red line. Backs it up to the midfield circle. Now over to Pisano. Pisano up the floor. Round one, round two. Lost the ball. Taken down on the play by Wicker. And the two Memphis guys can't make up their mind who's going to get the ball. Tobin deflects. It hits a Memphis man and goes out of bounds. And Canton will put it in play with 5.03 to go in the period. As soon as we get the ball to the proper spot, we'll be ready to go. Pisano and Paxos on D. Maurer and Moyers up front. Tobin at midfield. You've got Jones, Vasquez, Pesnecker, Yepes, and Wicker on the floor for Memphis. Pisano pushes it ahead off the left sideboards for Maurer. Maurer out of a double team. The ball was deflected. Here comes Vasquez up the right side across the red line, middle of the floor now. Vasquez trying to get around Maurer. The ball was deflected. And uh, Pesnecker chases it back to the red line. Pesnecker trying to get around Maurer. Vas the shot by Juan Yepes was deflected in the corner. Yepes after the rebound, deflected outside by Maurer. And a dangerous play call goes against Steve Maurer. And that's four fouls now on the Invaders with 4.33 to play in the third quarter. One foul on Memphis. The Invaders lead 4-0. And it'll be put in play from the right corner by Pesnecker. Pesnecker sends it out front. Wicker with a shot wide. Pesnecker lost the rebound, found it. Comes back out on the point to Yepes on the right side. Dumps it in the corner for Jones. Too far for him. Paxos dumps it off the boards into the box. Swanner controls. Long lead. Maurer got behind his man up the left side of the floor. Yepes takes him down in the corner, and Yepes plows into Maurer. That'll be the second foul. The push goes against uh, Juan Yepes, and uh, 4.14 to play in the third quarter. Tobin will put it in play from the left corner for Canton in the Memphis defensive zone. Maurer clears through the box. Outside, Paxos with a shot deflected. Paxos able to clear it out to Pisano. He winds, he fires. That one's blocked up front by Yepes. Yepes heads it ahead for Vasquez. Gets it back, and a hit on the break is Jones, but Swanner out to knock it out of play. And Swanner's going to get two minutes for delay of game. And Jamie Swanner upset with it, but he will get two on the delay of game call. And Tim Timo over to voice his opinion. But the Memphis Storm will go back up by a man. They are 0 for 2 on the power play in the game. This penalty comes at 10.58. And you know what the Canton fans think of the call. Penalty killers back out. <laughs> and the power play unit for Memphis. Tony Johnson, Tony Pesnecker, Martin Vasquez, Greg Willen, and Boro Susevich. And the ball pops in the box loose and Swanner controls. Along. One at Frick. Frick broke the other way. Pesnecker took it back. Feeds out front. Condrich blocked the shot by Susevich. Kramer clears to Frick. Frick's got one man to beat. He got behind his man up the right side. Frick, he shoots wide. And the rebound tapped in and controlled by Vas by. Now oh, there should be two. Willen with a push on Frick. And they call the foul. If that's not two minutes, I don't know what is. If that is not two minutes, I don't know what is. Second foul on Memphis. Kramer will put it in play from the spot. He shoots and put it in the crowd. We have a minute 32 left in the penalty. And Willen has it for Memphis. Willen still in the Memphis zone, now out across the red line. Vasquez right side at midfield. Kramer picks him up. And they drop it back to Pesnecker. Pesnecker at the red line, middle of the floor, right side to Vasquez. 
Minute 16 in the penalty. Johnson shot blocked by Tima. And Condridge controls, but he sent it over the glass and out of play. And Memphis will get it back with 3.13 left in the period and a minute 11 left in the penalty. Pesnecker taps it ahead to Vasquez and back to Pesnecker. Pesnecker, middle of the floor, down in the corner for Susovic. Back out front to Willen. Willen being hounded by Kramer. Pesnecker back Susovic in the left corner. Across the floor, Vasquez heads it up in the air. Fricky in a race for the ball and knocked out of play by Memphis and the Invaders will control with 54 seconds left in the penalty. 2.56 in the period. Condrich will put it in play left side at midfield. Tomo looks up the field, sends it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick trying to get inside Pesnecker in the left corner. Bounces it off the boards and Fricky got the ball. Tony Johnson goes down. And Frick is whistled for tripping. That one I will question a little because Frick got to the ball first and then Johnson went down. It's the fifth foul on Canton, though. One more would put the Invaders in the uh, penalty situation. Three fouls on Memphis in the period. Down in the corner, Susevich off the boards for Johnson. Johnson out front to Vasquez. Vasquez shot blocked by Tima. 31 seconds in the penalty. Willen, right side, Vasquez, centering ball loose out front, and Swanner pounces on it as Hudson couldn't control. Long lead for Frick. Frick got behind Willen, taken down by Willen, and that's the fourth foul on Memphis. Scoreboard says three, I believe it's four. Frick dribbling the ball around. There are 12 seconds left in the penalty. And Frick able to knock it away from Pesnecker and now clear to midfield to Tima. Tima wanted Kramer, ball headed away. Johnson deflected by Condrich ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer left side, lets a defender clear. And the penalty is over. Now Memphis coming back on the attack the other way. Willen ahead to Johnson. Pass deflected by Tima. Shot blocked by Condrich and they clear it to midfield. Minute 50 to go in the period. Sanchez touches it ahead to Pesnecker. Invaders have killed off three straight penalties tonight. Hudson couldn't control Tima, and he had it knocked away, and they say Timmy touched it last. It goes out of play in favor of Memphis with a minute 40 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead four to nothing. And with that goal earlier, we forgot to mention that Bill Northey of Medina is a winner on the goal by Moyers. Bill Northey gets $25 certificate toward dinner at Lolly's, two tickets to a future Invader home game, So we congratulate you on that. In the Canton end, Fasano trying to clear. Ball knocked away. Whistle. And a dangerous play called on the Memphis team. That'll be their fourth or fifth, we believe. And the Invaders will put it in play. Minute 30 to play in the third quarter. Canton four, Memphis nothing. Paxos taps it into Swanner. Back outside to Mike Paxos. Now Don Tobin. And now Jamie Swanner picks it up. And the outlet, red line left side to Paxos. Paxi had the ball knocked away by Tony Johnson. Slapped in the face by Johnson. He fires. Oh, what a save by Swanner. And we've got a whistle and a foul back out front. They'll take it back to the red line as it went in the glass. Milwaukee has beaten Louisville. 5-4, Milwaukee over Louisville. They send it in. Johnson in the corner, shot no. Oh, what a play by Swatter. Oh, my heavens. Jamie Swatter got up with one hand to scoop that away from the crossbar. What a save by Swatter. There's Johnson with a push on Pisano. And there's a foul. The play had stopped a long time ago. That should be, that, if that's not two again, Tony Johnson has gotten away with murder a couple of times here. That's the fifth foul on Memphis with 55 seconds left in the period. <laughs> Send it ahead for Tobin. Tobin trying to get it to Moyers out front, blocked away. 47 seconds, Mike Paxos trying to get around the man there, but the ball's taken away by 
Borja. They fall down over each other. Paxos comes away. Tried to tap it ahead for Moyers. And Moyers got around one man. Taken down. No call again. And now Pisano trying to get around from Johnson to Tobin. 29 seconds. Ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer left side working on Yepes. Trying to get inside of Susevich. Back outside to Pisano. And it comes down to Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside to Moyers. Here's Pisano. He shoots. Good save by Sanchez up front. 15 seconds in the period. Ahead and the ball deflected by Mike Paxos. Swanner out of the net to clear that ahead. Six seconds in the period. And there's Tony Johnson again. And that time I think we've got the sixth foul. Which, and they give Tony Johnson two minutes. So that's not the sixth foul. Tony Johnson committed four two-minute penalties in that shift. And they finally caught it. Tony Johnson gets the penalty. That does not count as the sixth foul because they called the two-minute penalty anyway. Only four seconds left in the period. The time of the penalty, 14.56. Johnson goes off for two. And the Invaders will be on the man advantage for the third time tonight. They failed their first two. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Tony Johnson. And I would think the Invaders will just let the clock wind and start the uh, fourth quarter with a minute 56 of power play. And that's what they'll do. At the end of three, the Canton Invaders four, the Memphis Storm nothing. Invaders will control the kickoff, so they will enjoy the full time on the penalty. Comfortable lead, they lead four nothing, trying to pat it a little more. Memphis really, really looks like they're looking around saying, gee, where's Oscar Albuquerque? Because they have just not really put much of an offense together in this game at all. Tobin with a kickoff, taps it back to Pisano. Now Toby comes through the midfield circle. Invaders attack with a man advantage. Pisano, right point, looks down in the corner for Kia, feeds Kia there. Kia wall pass, Rudy scores! Rudy Pikasinski off the feed from Kia, power play goal. And the Invaders lead five to nothing. Second goal of the night for Pikasinski. And it's his 21st of the year. That moves him into a tie with Elvis Comrie of Chicago for third place. In the league scoring stats, Kia picks up his 11th assist. Time of the goal, 14 seconds into the fourth quarter. Pekosinski from Kia, power play. And the Invaders lead it 5 to nothing. Tony Johnson back out on the floor, and he will probably get a rousing reception from the fans here. Johnson to Vasquez. Now on the right side is Susevich. Boro Susevich. Red line of Canton. Drops it back to Pendleton. Pendleton ahead for Tony Johnson. And Johnson lost the ball. Team sends it ahead for Rudy. Pikasinski trying to maneuver with it and had it deflected out of a double team. And Willen has it for Memphis. Three former Columbus players on this line for uh, Memphis. Susevich, Johnson, and Pendleton all played for Columbus last year. Rudy Pikasinski with it in the Canton defensive zone ahead for Kia. And Kia trying to dump it around the boards. Johnson steps in front in the corner outside to Willen. Willen, ball right through the box. Nobody home out there. Vasquez faked his shot. The second one was blocked by Tima. And he fires it again wide to the left side. Rebound rolls out of the left point to Willen. Willen, couple of steps in. Now the centering ball knocked away. Shot. Oh, what a save by Swanner. Pendleton puts it in. Headed by Susevich. Can't get it. Rebound score. Memphis on the board. The goal will go to Boro Sousa. Uh, check that. I think it's Vasquez that'll get the goal. And Memphis on the board at 1.14 of the fourth quarter. So the Invader lead cut to 5-1. To
So Swanner loses the shutout. Kramer off the kickoff back to Tim Tima. Loose out front. Kramer shot wide to the right. Vasquez got the goal. It is his sixth of the year, and we'll wait and see on announcement on the assist. Kondrich knocks the ball away from Tony Johnson, and Tomo comes out across the red line with it ahead for Kia. Kia's got Rudy unmarked up the left side if he sees him. And Kia tries to center, and Kramer hauled down from behind, and the call goes against Memphis. The first foul of the period, the push. They're still checking on the assist on that Memphis goal. We'll get it to you in a minute. Kramer taps it back. Tima winds, fires, and Susovic covers that one up. Or check that at Sanchez. Long lead for Tony Johnson. Johnson trying to work inside of Kondrich. And we've got a holding call on Tomo. Team fouls even at 1-1. Susovic to put it in play for Memphis. Airborne for Johnson. Swanner slapped it away and it comes back out to midfield. Susovic gets the assist on the Vasquez goal. And Susovic gets his second assist of the year. Condrich with the ball in the Canton end. Around one, shovels it over to Tobin. Left side at midfield. Now Tima. 12.48 to play in the game. Invaders lead 5-1. Ball at midfield. Headed away by Johnson. Taken by Vasquez. And back up, Condridge tried to, or rather Moyers tried to knock it away from behind from Pendleton, but Pendleton gets it forward. Susevich, left side in the Canton defensive zone, knocked it into the chest of Tima. And I think they called Timmy for a handball, and that didn't come close to touching his hand. Second foul on the Invaders. That hit Tima squarely in the chest, and they called a handball. Susevich will put it in play for Memphis. Centering ball for Johnson. He shoots, he scores. And the assist will go to Vasquez, and all of a sudden it's 5-2. to two. Tony Johnson picks up his ninth goal of the year. Vasquez gets his fifth assist. Time of the goal, 2.33 of the fourth period and now it's five to two in favor of Canton. And timeout will be taken by the Invaders to talk a couple of things over. Invaders have had a habit of giving up some late goals once they have a game put away and that's what's happening right now. 15 seconds apart. Maurer, Moyers, Tobin, Pisano, Paxos for Canton. They tap it ahead into the Memphis defensive zone, cleared back out, Austin Hudson. Dishes back, and this is Tony Wicker ahead. Pass not right into the chest of Tobin. Taken back out front. Hudson tripped over the ball, and Borja knocks it loose into the corner. Ramiro Borja working on Pisano. Out front, knocks it through the box. Wicker centering ball. Swanner slaps that up in the air. Loose out front. Swanner out of the box will try to clear it ahead, and he dumps it through the midfield circle. Sanchez waits for it at the red line, sends it airborne for Borja. Borja puts it up in the air, and Tobin clears it out to midfield. Yepes sends it back in for Memphis. Paxos tried to head it away from Hudson, but knocked it out of play. 11.45 to play in the game. Invaders 5, Memphis 2. Yepes centering ball and knocked up and out of play by Borja. And that will be Canton's possession from just outside the uh, corner, outside the spot in the corner in the left side as Swanner looks at it. Invaders lead five to two. We go to Chicago on Sunday, Toledo next Friday, and back home next Saturday against Louisville. Louisville lost to Milwaukee tonight, 5-4. Memphis with the ball in the Canton defensive zone. Yepes had it knocked away. And Paxos tries to clear. That one's up in the girders. And it lands in the invader bench and comes back out front with it. Memphis will put it in play from the Canton red line. 5-2 is our score. They dump it in the corner. Pisano trying to get inside. Borja clears it out front. Tony Wicker with it. <laughs> Dishes back to Pesnecker. 
Pesnecker left side shovels it forward for Borja Borja through the box and Moyers went up in the air to head that away Pesnecker trying to knock it back Hudson had it knocked away by Paxos and Moyers clears it out to midfield Pesnecker chases it down at the Memphis red line and 11 minutes left in the game Pesnecker long lead into the right corner for Hudson Hudson back to the net on Paxos and it's cleared ahead Maurer trying to get away from Yepes Maurer spins away from the boards clears it over to Don Tobin knocked back in the corner by Wicker Borja working against Pisano back outside to Wicker in the left point ball spent most of this period in the Canton defensive end Pesnecker down in the corner for Borja Borja bicycle kick put it in the crowd and it'll be a goal kick for Canton Invaders may have lost a little bit of their intensity when they had that 5-0 lead. They would like to pad that a little bit here now as Memphis has cut it to three to a three-goal lead, 5-2. 10-31 left in the game. Tim Tima will put it in play for Canton in the Invaders defensive end. In the box for Swanner, he scoops it up. Jamie looks up the floor. Long lead, once Rudy, and it was headed up in the air by Rudy and Pendleton. Kia chases it up against the left sideboards and backs it out at midfield to Condridge. Condridge, red line for Tima, pass knocked away. Vasquez couldn't control, neither can Kramer, and Johnson tried to get it ahead to Susevich, but Condridge clears it up. Kaczynski at the Memphis red line. He'll pass for Kramer. Loose sliding play by Sanchez to knock it away from Marty. Rudy tried to steal from Johnson. And Kia ends up with it. <laughs> now Pikasinski. And back out front at the red line, at the midfield line, rather, to Condrich. Condrich long lead into the corner for Kramer on the right side. And Kramer backs it out to Tim Tima. Tima airborne wants Rudy. Rudy and Pendleton in a race. Rudy will win that into the corner. Pikasinski back to the net. Kramer trying to clear inside. Pendleton step, pinned the ball up against the boards. Cleared it out to Susevich. Bad pass taken away by Kia. Knocked back in the midfield circle to Tim Tima. 9.27 left in the game. Rudy Pikasinski in the corner. Sends it airborne for himself up in the air. Oh, and he just knocked it out of play. Very close to getting it over Sanchez. Pikasinski is still down. And they're going to bring the trainer out to take a look at Rudy. Rudy moves, pins his knees up against his chest. He may have just had the wind knocked out of him. Yeah, he's up and okay. Rudy got up just about the time Steve Morris arrived. And Rudy is all right and, in fact, I think is going to remain in the game. Now, they may have to take him out. Yeah. He'll come out, and Moyers will come in and play on the line with Kramer and Kia. 9.21 left in the game. It'll be a goal kick for Memphis. Sanchez outlet to Willen on the left side. Willen sends it long. It's intercepted by Condridge. Knocked away, and Memphis gets it back. Susevich outside the Canton red line. Backs it away from Kramer. <laughs> they clear it in for Willen, but Moyers got there first. Shovels it in, and there's going to be a push. As Swanner got pushed by Susevich as he scooped the ball up. Three fouls on Memphis, two on Canton in the period. Jamie long lead for Moyers. Moyers trying to get inside Vasquez. Vasquez took the ball away. Martin Vasquez across midfield, across the Canton red line, to the right side, shot blocked by Kramer. And Artie spins and shovels the rebound ahead. Couldn't get it to Moyers. Susevich out front working on Tima. And the right side, it goes to Vasquez. Wall pass through the box. And it skipped over the glass and out of play. And they're going to give it back to Memphis. And how, I'm not sure. Now they, now they turn it back the other way and give it to the Invaders. I'm going to say, I think he just signaled the wrong way. 8.32 left in the game. Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Line change. Condridge, or rather, uh, Paxos and Pisano in on D. Tobin at midfield. Maurer at one forward spot, and Moyer stays in the game at forward after coming in for Pikasinski on the last shift of the other line. 8.32 to play in the game. Milwaukee has already beaten Louisville tonight, 5-4. To Swanner picks the ball up in the goal box. 
Long lead for Maurer. Maurer and Wicker fight for it up against the boards. And Wicker trying to clear out for Memphis. And Maurer's going to get whistled for the push. And the team fouls are even at three apiece. 8.20 left in the game. Here with WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. <laughs> Wicker taps it back in the goal box for Sanchez. Sanchez shovels it ahead. This is Hudson. And now it's Wicker. And now back in the box. And now Yepes up the right side of the floor. <laughs> Yepes ahead for Austin Hudson. Right point. Juan Yepes. Couple of steps in on Tobin. Into the corner. Shot blocked by Paxos. Rebound comes out to Steve Maurer. Maurer dishes it over to Moyers. Back to Pisano. Pisano knocks it away from Hudson. And Swanner controls in the goal box. Swanner. Long lead. He wants Maurer. Maurer tries to tap it over to Moyers. Moyers had to wait on the pass and then cleared it back to midfield to Tobin. Tobin, Steve Moyers at the Memphis red line. Now Maurer, now Tobin. 7.34 left to play. Pisano on the right side. Oscar trying to get inside. Borja takes it up the right side of the floor in the corner. Oscar spin move. Maneuvers away from Borja, and Borja will take him down on the trip. That's the fourth foul on Memphis. Ken will put it in play in the Memphis defensive zone from the right side of the floor, just outside the curve of the boards. 7.24 to play in the game, and the Invaders have a three-goal lead, 5-2. It was 5-0 at one point. Memphis with a couple of late goals in this period. Tobin across the box, out front for Moyers. Moyers has to clear to midfield, and Pisano chases it all the way back into Cantonim. Pisano knocks it away from Borja, and it rolls around to Jamie Swanner. Swanner, long lead, knocked away. But Paxos will clear it ahead for Canton. And it's taken back at midfield. And Maurer knocked it away from Wicker. But the foul goes against Maurer. And the team fouls are even at four apiece with 7.06 to play in the game. Yep, has long lead. Swanner out, heads it away from uh, Pesnecker. And now it is uh, Maurer at midfield. Drops it back in the Canton zone for Pisano over to Paxos. And now Tobin right side at the red line. Back to Swanner at the edge of the box. Jamie ahead to Rudy Pikasinski back in the game. Ahead to Oscar off his foot. Wicker couldn't control. And Pesnecker clears and knocked it into the invader bench. Trevor Dawkins caught it on the fly. And now the invaders will put it in play. We have a timeout. 6.40 left in the game. Officials timeout. Invaders lead 5-2. Kondrich and Timo on defense. Kramer, Pikasinski, and Kia, your forward line with Artie playing midfield in that threesome. And uh, Kondrich drops it back to Swanner. Swanner, long outlet, and it's too far. Three-line violation. Takes it back to the Canton red line. Vasquez puts it in play there, leaves it rather, for Susevic. Susevic drops it on the right point to Pendleton. Pendleton working on Kondrich. Back to Susevic. Pass blocked by Rudy. Now on the left side to Vasquez. Vasquez tried to center to Johnson. Rudy got a piece of that. Willen has it out front on the right side to Pendleton. Pendleton shot off the glass high. Kia heads it up in the air. And Tima sends it forward. Willen and Rudy in a race for it. And Willen goes down and Rudy gets whistled for the hold. And that's the fifth foul on the Invaders. With 6.09 left in the game. Pendleton. Pushes it ahead, Susevich, and back to Pendleton. And back to Susevich. Susevich trying to get it away from Kramer. Rudy knocked it away from him. Rudy to Kramer, to Kia. He sh can't get the shot away. Ridden down, and uh, Sanchez comes up on the ball. Outlet to Willen up the right's left side. Willen across midfield, across the Canton red line. Shot blocked by Condrich. Willen got it back, blocked again. Tima tries to clear Johnson with a shot. Hit the post on the left side. And coming up the floor with it is Kia. Kia trying to make a move around one, and the guy in front knocked it away, Pendleton. And he controls, and back in the box it goes to Sanchez. Sanchez, long lead. Tima deflects at midfield, and the invaders come back on the attack. Tima with Tony Johnson, and the ball knocked away again. Kondrich has it back at the Canton red line. 5-17 left in the game. Invaders 5, Memphis 2. Art Kramer, red line left side against Tony Johnson. Back out to the Canton red line to Kondrich. His pass was deflected by Vasquez. Tima chases it down and shovels it in the box for Swanner. Five minutes left in the game. 
Don Tobin, left side, Canton defensive end, back in the box for Swanner. Swanner off the right side boards for Maurer. Maurer's got Moyers wide open in front if he can get the feed. Maurer had to wait in the ball and comes back outside near the point, trying to get around a double team, and it's tapped out on the point to uh, Timmy Tima. 440 left in the game. Moyers left side and back out at the Canton red line to Mike Paxos. He touches it over to Swanner ahead to Pisano. Pisano had the ball knocked away by Susevich. And Johnson takes Pisano down, and the two-minute card comes out. And Tony Johnson goes off for tripping. And the Invaders go back on the power play with 427 left in the game. Johnson gets a yellow card because it's his second two-minute of the ninth. And he's been the villain tonight. Fans were looking for one, and they found one. Time of the penalty is 10.33. And the Invaders will go on the man advantage. They are one for three on the power play tonight. This is their fourth opportunity. And a chance to put an insurance goal on. Pretty flagrant trip <laughs> on Johnson, and he gets the two-minute penalty. And now it is Don Tobin pushing it up the floor for Canton. Right side to Pisano. Back to Tobin. And out front to Rudy. Rudy to an open Maury He shoots. Good save by Sanchez. And Tobin taps it back over. Pisano. And Tobin. Tobin to Oscar. Back to Tobin. And outside to Maurer. Maurer inside. Rudy shoots and scores. Kia will get the assist. And if you could give two, you'd give Maurer one, too. Hat trick for Pikasinski. Second power play goal of the night. Time of the goal, 11.01. will get the assist. And the timeout on the field with 3.59 left. With 3.59 left in the game. And it is Greg Willen who will be the sixth attacker. Invaders will counter with Moyers, Maurer, Tobin, Kondrich, and Tima. Willen, the sixth attacker, had a little trouble handling that at the red line, drops it over to Yepes, and now Moyer. Into the game for the first time is Vincent Beck at a defender spot. He's got the ball on the left point. Down in the corner, they center out front for Willen. Willen shot, Swanner comes up with a save. And Willen hustles back to the net. Outlet, red line, left side to Maurer. Maurer's pass deflected by Tony Johnson, taken by Borja. Borja shoots and scores. And Memphis cuts it to 6-3 for Ramiro Borja. That'll be his second goal of the year. And Memphis cuts it to 6-3. Time of the goal is 11:31. And let's see if they give an assist. Tony Johnson gets the assist. For Johnson, it is his 15th assist of the season. Still on the sixth attacker, Johnson took the kickoff away from Moyers, and the ball deflected by Tobin, and they clear it back to Willen, the sixth attacker on the floor for Memphis. Right side, shot by Vasquez. Swanner punches it into the corner. Hudson clears it over the head of Vasquez. Here's Frick with a steal. Frick coming up the left side of the floor. Ball knocked away, and Willen can't clear. Frick tried to knock it away, almost knocked it to Tobin. Toby shoots and scores! Nope. They whistled it dead. No goal. There was a foul before the play. I think they called Frick. And that's the sixth foul, and that's a terrible call. 
It negates a goal. I don't know where they get. Willen lost the ball and went down, and Frick went down with him, and they called Frick for the foul. And I really do not know where that call came from because I did not see a foul. That's the sixth foul. Time of the penalty will be 11.58. The other thing is that took a goal away from Tobin. I mean, that would have put it, that would have iced it right there. Willen dumps it ahead. Vasquez in the corner for Borja. Borja lost it to Tim Tima. Tima up the right side. Clears it the length of the floor, and that'll be a three-line violation with 2.44 to play. A minute 42 left in the penalty. They'll put it in play at the red line. Willen just fires. Tima blocked the shot. Vasquez tried to follow, and it was knocked away by Frick. Willen down on the side. Hudson couldn't control. Tried to knock it inside. Got to Johnson. Good play by Swanner. Point blank range, and Swanner comes up with a save on Tony Johnson. Johnson tried to get it inside. Kondrich knocks it up in the air. Johnson heads it in the corner. There's a shot. Swanner with another honey of a save. Long ball out of midfield. Willen trying to get it away from Frick and can't do it. And Frick pushes it past Willen, and it's just wide. And Beck almost knocked that into his own net. And he's able to pin it up against the boards. 2.06 left in the game. Coming out with it is Willen through the midfield circle. 58 seconds left in the penalty. Shot Vasquez. Swanner knocks that up in the air. And he reaches up and hauls it down away from Austin Hudson. Long lead for Frick. Frick's got a man to beat. He shoots it, and it hit the post on the right side. Minute 43 left in the game. Borja winds, fires, and Tima blocks it out of play with a minute 39 to go. Our Fricky came within a matter of inches of getting a shorthanded goal down there. Minute 39 left in the game and 37 seconds left in the power play. Beck off the boards. Tima knocked it away ahead to Frick. Here we go again. Frick had it taken away by Vasquez through the middle, his shot wide. Beck with a rebound, trying to get inside Kramer. Down in the corner, wall pass. Hudson, shot hit the post. Follow, oh, what a save by Swatter off the shot by Vasquez. <laughs> 21 seconds left in the penalty. Swanner earning his keep this period. Hudson with a shot, no. Kramer sends it down to midfield. Beck and Willen in pursuit along with Frick. 12 seconds in the penalty. Now a minute 10 left in the game. And they push it ahead. Vasquez on the attack up the right side. Moves ahead. Left-footed shot just wide to the left side. And the penalty is over. And Hudson can't get it whipped on the shot. Pekosinski out of the box. Here comes Kramer the other way. Ball knocked away by Vasquez. Steal by Rudy. Rudy pushes it ahead for Kramer. They got two on the sixth attacker. Kramer to Frick, oh, and stepped in front. Kramer follows, shot blocked by Willen. Willen stepped in front of the pass, or Fricky would have had the open net. 40 seconds left in the game. Pekosinski to Kramer. Kramer got inside Vasquez. Kramer looking for Rudy. Rudy couldn't get a hold of the shot. Ball knocked out front to Frick. And Frick will back it away. 28 seconds left in the game. Frick had it knocked away by Borja. And with 23 seconds, Memphis back on the attack, but they trail by three, steal by Tima at the red line. Here come the invaders again. 17 seconds to go. This one's history. Pekosinski wants the feed to Kramer. He shoots. He scores! Rudy <laughs> Pekosinski with his fourth point of the night at the assist on the Art Kramer goal. For Kramer, his 10th goal of the season. Time of the goal, 14-49. And the Invaders lead 7-3. They will go to 12-3 on the year. Memphis will drop to 6-10.
Just 11 seconds left in the game. Hardy put that in with a little authority, too. Off the boards, Borja down in the Canton end. Swanner steps in front, balls loose. Condridge clears. That's going to be a three-line violation with one second left. Doesn't mean a whole lot. The shot blocked. The game's over. The Invaders win it 7-3. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a moment. And 18, 15 saves for Swanner, 9 for Sanchez. It all adds up to the Invaders 7, Memphis 3. And we told you Swanner wins it to go to 6 or 7 and 1. Invaders next in action on Sunday, 6:25 airtime, 6:35 kickoff from Chicago against the Shockers. Other score tonight, Milwaukee beat Louisville 5-4. And that brings us to the end of another night of AISA soccer action here.